The Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District offers lush, inviting land with wooded hills, scenic valleys, and attractive lakes. These lakes form the focal point of a major recreational area, offering a broad range of activities from fishing, swimming and sailing, hiking and hunting, to golf, camping and boating. But these lakes have an even greater purpose. They are part of a vast project undertaken half a century ago to renew the Muskingum River Valley by protecting 18 counties in East Central Ohio from the raging floodwaters of the Muskingum River and its tributaries. In 1913, Ohio's worst flood struck the Muskingum River Valley, claiming 11 lives and causing millions of dollars of property damage. This flood was the catalyst for the creation of the Conservancy Districts in Ohio. Flood control became imperative, but the size, cost, and legal obstacles of such a project seemed overwhelming to the ravaged residents. Nevertheless, a group of determined men, led by Bryce Browning, who would become the first MWCD secretary, sought a solution. After 20 years, new legislation enacted during the Great Depression finally opened doors for large-scale flood control efforts. And in 1933, the Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District was formed. The innovative flood plan centered on 14 dams to be built across tributaries flowing into the Muskingum River. The Muskingum River drains nearly a fifth of the state into the Ohio River, making the MWCD the largest of 19 active conservancy districts in Ohio. Through the Army Corps of Engineers and various work programs, the enormous task of constructing 14 dams was completed in just five years and dedicated in 1938. Ten dams create permanent reservoirs totaling more than 16,000 acres of water. The MWCD lakes include Atwood, Leesville, Tappan, Clendenning, Piedmont, Seneca, Wills Creek, Pleasant Hill, Charles Mill, and Beach City. But conservancy planners knew that dams and lakes alone would not renew the valley. By 1900, over 80% of the once forested valley had been cut for towns and farmland. Years of poor land management had eroded topsoil and severely lowered crop production. Wildlife was scarce because of the absence of forests. In cooperation with the conservancy, Soil Conservation Services instructed landowners on how to conserve topsoil and properly manage croplands and forests. The Conservancy itself set an example by planting over 12 million trees on its own property surrounding the lakes. Today the Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District is a showcase of sound soil and water conservation practices for public benefit. The Conservancy's property includes over 38,000 acres of land managed with a multiple use doctrine which combines watershed protection, soil conservation, wildlife propagation, timber production and recreation. Shortly after the MWCD was formed, the Conservancy Court, its governing body and the Board of Directors allowed the development of recreational opportunities at MWCD Lakes. Today the lakes and surrounding lands are enjoyed in countless ways by millions of people every year. Most have at least one full service marina and all have boat launch ramps. A maximum motor horsepower rating for watercraft varies from 10 horsepower to unlimited, giving each lake its own character. The lure of fishing draws anglers to all Muskingum Conservancy lakes. Under a lease agreement, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources Division of Wildlife oversees all conservancy fish and wildlife management. Bass, sawgai, catfish, crappie, and muskellunge are some of the most sought after species. Consistently in the top musky lakes in the state, anglers at Leesville and Piedmont catch over a ton of musky each year. If any activity surpasses fishing in popularity at MWCD lakes, it's camping. Lake parks are located at Atwood, Charles Mill, Pleasant Hill, Seneca, and Tappan Lakes. And marina campgrounds are at Clendenning, Leesville, and Piedmont Lakes. 
MWCD facilities offer over 3,000 campsites. Campground facilities include electric hookups, playgrounds, hiking trails, and swimming beaches. Atwood and Tappan Lake Parks each have their own nature center, where a naturalist gives adults and children a better understanding and appreciation of local wildlife. Any time of year, the lakes provide a scenic backdrop for a picnic. To help ensure the safety of residents and guests, all of the parks in the Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District are patrolled and supervised by qualified rangers. The rangers also make boat and trailer inspections, enforce boating regulations, and offer campers educational and safety programs. Representing yet another example of multiple use are the cottage areas, which are small parcels of land leased for private homes. Lease agreements include strict building codes that require houses to conform to conservancy standards and blend aesthetically with their surroundings. The conservancy is entirely self-supporting, paying its own way with revenue from a number of sources, including recreation fees, lease payments, and other income-generating endeavors. Not only is the conservancy self-supporting, it actually pays taxes on lands not designated for public use, of course, the Conservancy acknowledges invaluable assistance for its program from several state and federal agencies, including the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, which now owns and operates the dams, the Ohio Department of Transportation, and the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. The Conservancy's self-sufficiency has been aided greatly by foresight and careful management. Today, the MWCD plays a major role in the Muskingum Valley economy, for example, millions of trees already planted represent a renewable source of revenue from local timber-related industries. Conservancy forests are widely recognized as one of the outstanding examples of wise forest management in the Midwest. Resource renewal, watershed management, and aesthetic impact are taken into consideration before harvesting takes place. As the pleasure of nature and recreation surround us today, the dreams of those concerned and dedicated citizens over 60 years ago who founded the Muskingum Watershed Conservancy District have become a reality. The initial costs of the project have been realized in flood control benefits many times over and will continue to pay large dividends far into the future. A local government agency has drawn upon regional human and natural resources to achieve harmony with the river and its environment for the benefit and pleasure of us all.